Hi, this video is the demonstration of the FUE donor score uh, on a client who's more than a year follow up. And uh, again, the result varies from one individual to another. And uh, so the, with FUE, we shave the back, we pluck one at a time, it leaves you tiny dots of scar. And this type of scar is there, but it's hard to see. And you can shave your head short without much detectability. Uh, I, produce, I, I perform both FUE and FUT, both FUE and FUT. Uh, produce scar. There's no surgery without scar. And uh, the result vary from one individual to another. The be uh, there's always pro and con for both FUE and FUT. And uh, you know, th there's, there's no one technique are perfect. The benefit of FUE are is uh, less visible scar, so it allows you to shave your head short. The other benefit of the FUE uh, are w w where it's less invasive than FUT. That means less painful less chance of infection, uh, faster recovery, and I, again, both recovery is similar time, but when I say faster, it's just two days, you know, it's not a lot. On the other hand, the downside of the FUE are, number one, uh, when we, uh, we had to shave more aggressive than the FUT, and then number two, the moment we do the FUE, the do overall donor density will reduce uh, more than when it, as compared to FUT. Uh, the, the, the other one is the, the cost. The FUTE is more labor, so it costs more than FUT. And then uh, the number of, total number of graft FUE can do uh, harvest per day is around 2250 to 3000 graft. Um, so it's more for mild to moderate hair loss for using the FUE for those patients with mild to moderate hair loss. And on the other hand, the FUT is more for advanced hair loss because it can harvest from 3500 to 6000. The other downside of the FUE is um, the growth rate. Now, I'm going to produce excellent density whether you do FUE or FUT with my work. However, the FUE, the downside is the growth rate as compared to my, my FUE compared to my FUT. My FUE around 10% less density than my FUT. Still, my FUE, although it's less dense than my FUT, is still better than most clinics does whether they do FUE or FUT. So on the other hand, the FUT will leave you a linear scar permanent for the rest of your life. The scar is hidden inside your hair. No one can't see it unless you shave. The, uh, the, the downside of the FUT, of course, is a little bit more invasive, more painful, uh, and uh, the, uh, there's higher risk of infection. But again, both are minimally invasive, and God forbid, knock on wood, there's rarely any cases where you see more uh, infection with the FUT or FUE because it's minimally invasive surgery and we provide antibiotic on surgery day and uh, five days subsequently. The, the, but, but those are the, 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 the downside of the FUT, but on the, the benefit of FUT is, is uh, it does not reduce the donor supply as much as the FUE. So, it saves your donor more for your future, especially for a client with advanced hair loss. FUT can harvest a big cases and it can save your donor more for advanced hair loss. So then it can potentially cover front toward the back. The other benefit of the FUT is uh, less shaving when we do surgery. So allow you to get back to your daily life faster. Number three is it's a lot cheaper than FUE because it's less labor, uh, not because less quality. As a matter of fact, the FUT is, uh, again, grow 10% better density than my FUE. So in other words, I produce excellent density with if, whether by FUE or FUT, but if you compare my FUT to my FUE, it's gonna be 10% more dense than my FUE. Uh, and then, so this is the demonstration of the FUE donor scar. Result vary from one individual to another and uh, both surgery produce scar whether you do FUE or FUT and no surgery without scar thank you